My name is Noel Brennan, and I'm a reporter at Nine News. Good job. Uh, Mike Grady, I'm a photojournalist at KUSA Channel 9 in Denver. It's horrible. This whole shoot was just really hard. We're up in the mountains. We're hiking up the mountains. Okay, you ready? January stands out because it was so gnarly. This is the gnarliest weather, the weather we've had all winter that I've been in. So it's like my first time shooting this new camera. It's crazy windy. Snow's blowing everywhere. I stopped at a gas station in Georgetown to get a trash bag to throw over the thing so like the snow wouldn't destroy it. I remember after we got done shooting, I was just like sitting in the news car and like, man, that did not go well. <laughs> like. Brian was great and everything. I felt good about that, but I felt like I didn't hold up my end very well. Like I just didn't shoot it very well. Uh, in June, I was carrying a boom pole, so that was fun. <laughs> it's nice to have a hand free when you're climbing a mountain. It's not nice to have two hands on a boom pole. In July, the snow is terrible. And Noel, it's, you know, usually on the upper part here, I usually put my hands into the snow. I mean, if you're comfortable standing up, do it. It's not really like snow. It's like this crusty formation. Good job, buddy. Of like rivets that you're trying to ski over. See you later, Mike. I wanted to try to follow Brian with the camera, and I figured on skis, that's the easiest way to do it. Close off your turns, keep your speed in check. You get comfortable, you can do whatever you want, but I, I would err on the, the Gordon Lightfoot side, right? Go easy. I don't know, he had to explain uh, the go easy part. He was super helpful. He was super patient. He had great advice. He had those little pointers that he would tell me right before I started to go down and send it. I wiped out pretty good in November and I wasn't paying attention enough to where I was going. I see Brian kind of dip out of frame and real quick like look, realize where I was, slid out, caught the monopod on the ground. I hit my head on the camera and uh, blood just came out of my face like a waterfall. <laughs> but Brian, I mean, Brian was great. And he like hikes back up the mountain. I give him my camera, he starts taking photos. I was like, just make get some photos of me real quick, Brian. <laughs> we shot in August and September in the same spot-ish. And we were shooting at about 13K. That coupled with the weather in some of the months and some of the closures we dealt with in October, like there was just a lot of obstacles. So when December came, I was ready for there to be something that was gonna happen. And we had Tom out there with the drone and Tom was getting this really sweet pullback shot of Brian as he came down. And then the drone just kept going and going and going and going. And then Tom was like, I lost it. But we hiked back and followed this little GPS signal. Woo, man, perfect landing. <laughs> to find the drone on the middle of a lake and it was intact, and it was fine. So all's good. Oh, there it, is. it felt like a great break from a lot of sad stories that we've been covering throughout the entire year. It was something to look forward to every month. It was a chance to get out in the mountains and spend some time with this cool person. It was just a whole lot of fun, and fun is what Brian talks about all the time. Fun kind of sums up who Brian is, and it kind of encapsulated for me what he's all about. Yeah, baby. And helped me kind of put my thoughts to paper um, when I'm writing a story about him. Yeah, I think it's just important to have some things in your life that you're super passionate about, like Brian is about the streak, and to keep those around for when stuff gets hairy, like it did this year. It can be like a, a rescue boat. <laughs>